Good morning from Namibia. It is just after 6 a.m. and I've come back to the Quiver Tree Forest. And this is actually the first video in this series, but we are on uh, day number three of the Adventure Travel Photography Workshop that I am helping uh, operate with Brendan Vanson. He's hired me to come down to take B-roll shots and to drive one of the vehicles and to sort of co-lead this adventure, sharing my photography and videography knowledge with the passengers involved. So, so far it's been an awesome trip. The reason I haven't started these vlogs is because uh, the first First couple of days were a bit crazy. We arrived in Windhoek and uh, you know had to get all of our camping gear together and then eventually uh, hit the road to come all the way down south here to these quiver tree forest. This place is absolutely amazing. And yesterday when we arrived, uh, we didn't have much time before the sunset and then Astro last night, which were both awesome. And I set up a time lapse and I'm hoping that it turned out pretty good. The camera's just right there. But uh, now finally today I have some time and we are going today to a place that I've wanted to go to for a very, very long time. So this video is all about bucket list photography and it all starts right now. Let's go. <laughs> Coleman's Cop in Namibia. This is a fantastic location where Brendan Vanson has been many times, I think, right? Yeah, I think this is my first time. Two. <laughs> no, I've been I've been here like eight times. And it's always windy. Man, this wind is next level and it's pushing the sand across the valley here. And uh, that's one of the reasons actually why this place is uh, the way that it is. And if you don't know uh, what this is, Coleman's Kop is an abandoned uh, village. It's a mining town just outside of Luteritz on the southwest coast of Namibia. And this was founded in 1908 after a diamond was found while the, uh, the southwest, German Southwest Africa colonization was building uh, railways to the coast. And when the diamond was found, they decided to uh, you know, mine this entire area basically. And they did find a lot of diamond deposits and this uh, town then sort of flourished for about 20 years. And from the, uh, the Wikipedia history that I just read, it looks like Coleman's Kop was uh, ultimately like sort of abandoned in 1928, 1930s, uh, just after, uh, well, well after World War I actually, but it was abandoned because there were more diamonds found at the mouth of the Orange River, 250 kilometers south from here. And then ultimately in 1956, it was completely abandoned. And since then, the desert has just taken over the town and uh, sand dunes, you know, the sand being pushed across these dunes, which is one of the reasons why Southern Namibia is quite famous for the, the sand dunes of the Namib Desert, the sand has just filled up these buildings and there's this amazing sort of old relic history past and I think you guys know from watching the channel that I really enjoy photographing, you know, kind of decrepit and old buildings from uh, about a hundred years ago, the turn of the century and uh, this is a perfect place to do so. So very excited to be here and I think we're going to get some fantastic photographs. So let's explore Coleman's Cop.
And we have found it. I absolutely got to shout out my buddy James Kerwin, who is a UK interiors photographer, shoots some really, really niche quality content. Absolutely fantastic photographer. And he is the one who sent me the pinned location for this exact spot and, uh, and some kind of instructions on how to find this set of uh, doors with one random door that's dislodged and yet standing you know, vertical because of the sand and it is a fantastic photograph. This is the bucket list kind of image that I was hoping for uh, to end this video and to be a part of this video, hence the name Bucket List Photography because Coleman's Cop and this kind of uh, scene has something is something that I've wanted to photograph for years, like probably at least five, possibly longer. I mean, the first time I came to Namibia was in 2012 and I kind of knew about this place, but it wasn't really on my radar as a photographer. And uh, and then I never came back until this trip with Brendan. So shout out to Brendan too for, uh, for knowing this place so well and bringing groups here because it is 100% worth it. You need a specific permit to be able to shoot photos in here. And uh, we've got this entire place all to ourselves, which makes it a lot better that you don't have people, you know, walking through your frame. And if if there are, they're probably part of your group and you can ask politely for them to just wait. So uh, this is absolutely why I came here. I, uh, I'm really, really happy with this photo. I've done some bracketing on it and uh, positioned the, um, the composition from both wide to tight and kind of off kilter and off center as well to sort of play with this idea that all of these houses I mean, as much as they were probably well built and so long ago, the, uh, the earth has kind of taken over and created all these abstract lines and the, uh, obviously the sand dunes in between the doors. And it just creates a really unique kind of warped scene on what was once, you know, a probably very uh, structured building. So very, very cool photo and uh, very happy to get this shot to share with you here in this video. This is the bucket list photo that I've been after. professional when I've got it over my shoulder like this you know so we are leaving Coleman's cop and uh, what an awesome couple hours of photography and exploration again we're the only ones here our entire group and uh, there's so much to explore here I feel like I could spend a lot longer uh, looking at all these uh, beautiful abandoned buildings and learning more about the diamond mine and the settlement here but uh, from what I have learned in a short period of time all of these buildings had their um, their use of course as you would expect so we got you know a school a bakery a hospital and uh, and housing accommodation and obviously the actual mine as well and uh, the last one that I was just in there well the light has gone down behind us was the hospital and uh, there's this amazing long hallway and I'm really happy I brought the 7200 my telephoto because I was able to really compress the scene and even at f11 get some kind of uh, bokeh in the foreground because um, when you've got that long sort of tunnel shape for photography at least it it creates a very dynamic sense of depth and the shadows coming across the wall uh, were not too harsh at all it was just sort of the natural glow from uh, from our sunset here and man that that photo is so good so I hope you enjoy this uh, this scene here and uh, I'm gonna check this one off my bucket list and uh, lucky for me we're coming back here tomorrow for sunrise so I've got another chance Chance, a couple more hours to get some more photos but I don't think I'm gonna vlog that one because coming up next we are heading to Sosasvle and uh, I want to start another video when we get back to uh, that national park a bit further north so yeah be sure to stay tuned for that video and uh, the next one after that I want to make a 10 year difference between the first time that I came to Namibia and the photos I took 10 years ago compared to now and uh, I, I probably should have done that the last time I was here but 
it has been 10 years now, so why not? And uh, yeah, as, as for you, thanks for watching. It's been a blast and I hope to see you in the next video. I think it's gonna be a great one. So I'll see you there. Cheers from Namibia.